WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We the Dow Industrials finished down 391. NASDAQ was up 15. S&P's off five and a half. And uh, divergence out here big time. Uh, you know, the, the, the Dow Industrials closed down 1.1%. Um, uh, S&P's down two tenths of one percent, and the uh, composite uh, up one tenth of one percent. Gold, gold contract down ten dollars sixty cents, trading at nineteen eleven an ounce. We had silver down twenty eight cents, twenty four dollars eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck twenty seven, eighty one thirteen. That's going to go test at eighty one fifty level. Uh, that's the swing level. And notes and bonds. The ten year note. Down four ticks, trading 114.19. The 30 year off 13 at 129.19 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 180 ticks, 102.384. Euro 120, 107. Yen 128. British pound 122 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the characteristics of these ETF structures here. We'll start with the SPY, folks. They all come in with light volume. Inside the SPY right now, what do we do? We did 58 million. Friday, you did 60, 63. Thursday, you did 90, and we're going into 117, and you didn't hold price. That's failure in price and volume. So we'll see where this wants to retrace to. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Big contraction of volume out here. Inside the NDX, what we did is 33 million versus Friday of 44 versus Thursday of 60. But check this out, man. You're going into 60 million, you did 33. That, folks, is saying people are walking into the store, there's half the amount of people in the store, and they bought. Like, guess what? When that happens, you're going south. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. That did, gold didn't hold price. That being said, though, you're gonna have a high volume high. We've done 243, 53,000 contracts. So. I suspect gold's going to pull back, and the reason I suspect gold's going to pull back is somehow this dollar wants to get off its lows. And I suspect what we're going to see, because of the way the S&P traded, the Dow, the NASDAQ, we're going to probably see this tonight. We're up 171, but that's really a flat market. I expect you're going to see a little pop in, in the gold, I mean, in the dollar market tonight, which is going to throw a wrench in the broader market. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Thanks for joining us. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.